Hello, uh, my name is Angel. Let's talk about plantar warts today. Alright, so what are plantar warts? Plantar warts are small rough growths on the feet. As you can see, this is a plantar wart, right? And this is the expansion of plantar wart. This is how it expands. They usually show up on the balls and the heels of the feet, the areas that bear the most pressure. So this is the ball and the heels right here. Um, this pressure may also cause a wart to grow invert beneath a hard, thick layer of skin. Um, you know, the, the hard, thick layer of skin is callous, but they can actually grow inward as well. Uh, plantar warts are caused by HPV virus, human papilloma virus. This virus enters through tiny cuts or breaks on the bottom of the foot. Um, most plantar warts aren't a serious health concern and often go away without treatment, especially in children under 12. To get rid of them sooner, you can try self-care treatments or see your health care provider, all right? So podiatrist can help you with an HPV, but know that it's very, very uh, infectious, okay? All right, so plantar wart signs and symptoms may include a small rough growth on the bottom of your foot, usually at the base of the toes or on the ball or the heel. On brown and black skin, the growth may be lighter than unaffected skin, so as you can see right here. Hard thickened skin callus or a spot on the skin where a wart has grown inward, right? So as you can see, this is the hard thickened skin, but the wart has already started going inward. And you can actually see the growth inside. <coughs> Pain or tenderness when walking or standing. It hurts when you walk or stand, right? Black pinpoints, which are small clotted blood vessels, commonly called wart seeds. So as you can see, these little black pinpoints are called as wart seeds. A cluster of growths on the sole of the foot, mosaic warts, right? So this cluster is called as mosaic warts. The growth that interrupts the normal lines and ridges in the skin of your foot. As you can see, this is actually interrupting the normal lines and the ridges uh, in the skin of your foot. Okay, so let's move forward. So when do you see a doctor if you have uh, plantar warts? So um, see your healthcare provider for the growth on your foot if the growth is bleeding. Yes, if your growth is bleeding or it has painful or changes in the shape of color, right? If it gets too bright, too black, you, know, so you might want to go ahead and get, get it checked. Um, you've tried treating the wart, but it persists, multiplies, or comes back after clearing for a time, rec recurs, right? So if it comes back, yeah? Your pain interferes with your activities, you have to go, yeah, because excuses at work is not going to help you, yeah. You also have diabetes or poor feeling in your feet, so you can actually, do, if you have diabetes, you know, chances are you may not feel anything on your feet, and that's when the podiatrist may give you a test to see if you have any sensations on the ball or heel of your feet, yeah. You also have a weaker immune system because of immune suppressing drugs, so if you have a weaker immune system, HIV, AIDS, or other immune system disorders, you know, that's that's when you have to go and get yourself checked. You aren't sure if the growth is warped, right? Because sometimes it may mimic, uh, you know, symptoms of callus, corns, you know, so you may want to go ahead and get it checked. Is it really warts? Because just like callus, a wart can have, like like we just um, we discussed, in word growth, yeah? So sometimes it can be misunderstood. What are the causes of plantar warts? Plantar warts are caused by an infection with HPV, human papilloma virus, in the outer layer of the skin, on the soles of the feet. The warts develop when the virus enters through any tiny cuts, breaks, or weak spots on the bottom of your foot. If left untreated, warts can last from a few months to two years in children and several years in adults, right? HPV is very common and more than 100 kinds of vi viruses exist, but only a few of them cause warts on the feet. Other types of HPV are more likely to cause warts on the other areas of your skin or on mucous membranes. All right, So there are several kinds of HPV. Um, you can actually get infected right from your foot to your face if you are not cleaning your hands before you touch yourself. Right. Then this is exactly why a podiatrist would actually advise you to cover the HPV only because you don't want to get it infected on the parts of the body, right? So when I job shadowed a podiatrist, I actually, um, you know, I saw a patient, you know, where uh, the person was constantly touching the HPV ward 
and then scratching his eyes, and that's when he started having growth awards on his eyes, right? So that was kind of really bad. I felt sorry for him. So you have to be very careful when you have an infectious ward. Transmission of the virus. Each person's immune system responds differently to the HPV virus, yes? So these are all the different kinds of HPV, yes? This is, as you can see right here, these are plantar warts. These are HPV on the lips, on the, you know, on the fingers. Um, this is in a different part of the body, but as you can see, it looks different for different places in the body. Not everyone who comes in contact with it develop warts, right? Um, even people in the same family react to viruses differently. The HPV strains that cause plantar warts aren't highly contagious, so the virus isn't easily spread by direct contact from one person to another, but it thrives in warm, moist places, so you might get the virus by walking barefoot around swimming pools or locker rooms. So you have to be very, very careful, especially during summer when a lot of many people are going to swimming pools and locker rooms. You have to make sure you're wearing the right uh, footwear, you know, let's say a flip-flop or anything like that to keep your feet away from, you know, the floors, because floors are usually very dirty, right? If the virus spreads from the first side of the infection, more warts may grow, right? So if it spreads from one part of your body, the other parts of the body may get infected, right? <clears throat> Anyone can develop plantar warts, but this type of wart is more likely to affect children and teenagers, people with weaker immune system, people who have had plantar warts before, people who walk barefoot in the areas where a wart-causing virus is common, uh, like we said, locker rooms and swimming pool. Uh, what are the complications? When plantar warts cause pain, you may alter your normal posture or gait, perhaps without realizing it. So let's say if you have it on the heels or you have the balls, chances are you'll start avoiding that area and the whole weight of your body will be falling on the other. You know, so let's say if you have it on your ball, you may walk on your heels and that may cause all the weight of the body to be directed only on the heels. And that will cause you some other trouble. You may develop, you know... Uh, uh, some issues with your calcaneal, you may develop issues with your, um, you may develop plantar fasciitis, you know, so it can cause some serious issues, right? Because you're constantly walking on your heels or you're walking on the ball, so now the balls are kind of uh, getting extra pressure. Eventually, this change in how you stand, walk, or run causes muscle or joint discomfort, right? So this will be causing some serious issues with your ankles, with your tendons, right? So it's not good. <clears throat> As you can see, this is a solitary wart right here. This is a mosaic wart, like we just said. Every wart has its own supply of blood and nerves. As you can see right here, it is a supply of bloods and nerves. All these wart seeds, like we discussed, are actually inward, and they have their own supply and blood growing. Prevention. To help prevent warts, avoid direct contact with warts. This includes your own warts, right? Wash your hands carefully after touching a wart. Keep your feet clean and dry. Wear sandals or other food protection when wearing, uh, when walking around swimming pools, in locker rooms, or in gym showers. Don't pick at uh, or scratch warts. Uh, plantar warts are very itchy, all right? So it's very difficult to control even after you apply a Band-Aid or cover it with like a pl uh, plantar wart um, cushion, yeah? But you cannot do it. It's very dangerous. It's very infectious, excuse me. When using an emery board, pumice stone, or nail clipper on your words, choose one that you don't use on your healthy skin and nails. So like don't use it right here and then use it on your fingers. It's not going to help you. All right, so that's what um, you know was about plant awards. If you really like this video, subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and let me know how you like uh, the plant awards video. Bye.